Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Fiji to Studio and today a quick video to share with you a free film burn transition for DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can download that film burn transition by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, and the film burn transition. Just double click on the DRFX file to start the installation process. Right now, I already have the transition installed, so you ask me to overwrite, but you, that should just say install, click on that. And then inside of DaVinci Resolve on the edit page, you can go over to effect, then video transition, video to studio, and then here you can scroll to sample and it should be right here, film burn sample. Now I'm gonna need to bring two clips in my timeline to show you the transition work. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna take a first clip and then we're gonna take a second clip and drag it right there. But right now, as you can see, those two clips don't fit the aspect ratio of my timeline. So I'm just gonna select both of them. I'm gonna scroll here in the inspector and in rhythm and scaling, I'm gonna just choose here in scaling, fill. So they fill up my frame like this. Now, if we try to bring that film burn transition in between the two clips, as you can see, nothing happened. It doesn't want to allow me to drop it in. It's because we need to trim the edges of those two clips to allow enough space for the transition to happen. Now, as you can see, if I drag it, it works perfectly fine, okay? Now let's zoom in a little bit and see what we can do with that transition. First off, you can extend or reduce it, but I will recommend in most cases to just leave it at the default length because that's what will look the best. By default, we choose an orange slash red color to create that film burn, which should look good in most scenarios. But in case you want to adjust it to your clip, you can do so by adjusting here the color and the glow. Let's see that together. So here, if you open the color drop down, as you can see, you can adjust the color of that film burn. So a great way to use it, for example, will be here. I have a laser and I would like it to be more towards the red than the orange. So we're just gonna select here the color, take the picker, and then we're gonna go on the red and select the red. And already just like that, we have a very different transition in terms of color. We could do the same thing with the other clip, for example, if we want to have something that is maybe uh, towards the golden slash white, we could just select color, same thing here, and pick, you know, something we want around there, for example. And now if we play it, again, we have a different transition that is more towards the white slash golden. Now, another thing you can adjust is the glow. So here you can open the glow dropdown and you will have access to the threshold, the gain, glow size, and the blend. So here you can go to whatever frame where there is something happening. The blend will control the opacity of the overall effect. So here you can just decrease that if you want to have something that is more transparent. Then you can adjust the glow size, which will be basically the softness on the edges of the glow. So if you increase that, as you can see, the softness right here is just expanding. And if you decrease that, that will be just more closer to a solid and you will have a bit less of a glow effect. Then you can play around with the gain and threshold to adjust the intensity of that glow. So here the gain will just make the glow richer. And if you decrease that, that will make it a bit lighter. Same thing here for the threshold. So you can just play around with those parameter that will basically adjust the intensity and saturation of the glow. At any moment, if you want to reset it, you can just double click on the parameter to reset to the default value. And that's pretty much it. I hope this transition will be useful to you. At any moment, if you want to get the full pack, you can just click the link right here in the inspector and it will bring you to the web page where you can purchase the full pack. But in the meantime, you can use this transition as you wish without any restriction. So happy editing and see you in the next video. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.